Welcome back to Character Station. Today we are going to uh, explore sheet ma uh, jog command that is in sheet metal. So uh, here is the sheet metal. Uh, we are going to use this jog. Uh, it is used to add two bands from a sketched line in a sheet metal uh, part. So first of all we need a sheet metal part. For this I am going to use top plane sketch. Uh, simply a center rectangle. From origin, I've created a rectangle. Let's uh, make a dimension 150 mm by 75 mm, and I'm going to convert into um, sheet metal by using the base bench. And 2 mm is okay for me. And okay, now if I want to use this jog, uh, jog, uh, let me show you. It asked me. Uh, another sketch for this simply select this face the sketch uh, I'm going to take a line control 8 to take it to isometric view here to here a vertical line okay control 7 now we are going to use the jog here in sheet metal you can find it here click on it now it's asking fixed face uh, that's mean uh, if I select this one, it will going to be bend here. If I let me, if I click this one, then uh, the bend will go uh, go to the other side. So the fixed face it should be here. I'm going to use here. Now we have uh, three and three, uh, three and four, seven options. Uh, first of all. Jog, uh, jog offset that's mean blind I want to uh, make this one is of 10 mm so this height will change if I want to increase it 100 mm it will increases so it's the length of jog let's 20 mm for this time control 7 again control and 7 now we have another option uh, dimension position dimension position means the bending of this uh, joke from the sketch if uh, this one is here outside offset if I click on this inside offset uh, okay not here here if I you can see here if I click on inside offset then this one will change you can see the position is changing uh, if you want to overall dimension that mean the minimum to the maximum you can select here so these are three and next is jog positions so you can see here is the line okay let me show you like here now you can understand it easily if you click on this uh, the second one you can see it's going to be these uh, icons will show you <clears throat> a material inside that's mean here's uh, my line a uh, little bit here and this band will go inside if I click on this one you can see it's going to be outside the name of this one is material outside and the last one is uh, band outside it will completely take the bend outside of the uh, line that we have made the next and uh, one of the most important job angle a uh, jog angle so if I just make 90 degrees that will become the perpendicular if I want to reduce it I can make 45 degrees here you can see if I want to more if I want to increase then 110 degrees and more 150 degrees uh, it's up to me uh, how much I want to bend it so basically jog, uh, jog is used to uh, bend the sheet metals so let me make it of 75 degrees okay or one more than 85 degrees 70 and control 7 okay here control 7 now our jog is ready okay 
if I again want to make a uh, bend this face, then it's simple. A sketch, make a line from okay center point to center point, and okay. Now next is sheet metal, and here is yoke. I want to fix this one, so it will be a uh, bend here. Okay, one more thing. If I just click here, you can see the whole uh, body will change. It's going to be bent uh, this side upper. So if this one will bend here, then the whole body will be converted. So uh, again, I want to bend here and next. How much this time I want? Uh, Nine mm's and okay. this one and the job position is here and joe uh, jo angle let's make it of mm, 25 mm 30 mm and okay now you can see control 7 here is our joke uh, edit Uh, one more thing here uh, 30 degree 35 degrees and okay it will looks good only for here so here is how to use the joke so hopefully you can now use this joke command in sheet metal uh, that is used to bend the sheet metals if uh, you haven't watched the previous uh, tutorials uh, in which we have covered this edge flange, how to create a sheet metal using piece based flange, uh, we have used a uh, meter or miter flange, hem, and now we have done with this joke. So, if you uh, are new in CAD station, then uh, go and watch these three tutorials. That's all for today. Hope you will like the video and share to your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to Canon Station. Thank you.